Browse. Press start to begin. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Super Bonus Round. We are back with more AI the Somnia Files. I'm your host, John Boogie Wara Jam, joined as always by my girlfriend and co-host, Christine. No. So, when we last left off, a lot of information was revealed to us. We got so many answers to questions, I even forgot I had. Like, that's not Iris's body we keep finding in the cold storage. It's her mother's frozen corpse of 18 years. Ugh. Well, you, we still have yet more questions to ask her before we keep going, so... So why did Rohan, Rohan remove uh, Monaka's eye? I'm sorry. I have no idea. Okay, well... Did you tell Renju about blackmail and so? No, I did not. All of this was my idea. And then continuing oh, okay. Sunday's events. You probably don't have to ask. Let me just be sure. After I left the warehouse, what did you do? I put Monica's body back onto the hood of the forklift. Then I left. Makes sense. That's why the police didn't see the body when they arrived on the scene. It makes perfect sense now that I have the facts. Iris did not resurrect. You simply mistook Monica for Iris. The body did not disappear. The Tommy moved. And the reason she brought up the alternate reality thing is because she's got a brain tumor making her feel weird shit. Oh. Simple. There are still a few loose ends, but I believe I understand what occurred 18 years ago. However, none of this ties directly back to Shoko Nadami. Exactly. Her murder was just four days ago. Is it connected? Or are these two separate cases? If there is a connection, it would be with Renju and So. We can think about it later. More importantly... I headed for the exit. Wait! Where are you going? To look for Iris, of course. But you have no idea where she is, right? Do you know something? Yes. I know where she is. Four o'clock today. I received a phone call. I don't know who it was. They were using a voice modulator. What did they say? I have your daughter. Don't call the police or she dies. Uh oh. That's why I didn't tell you earlier. Renju. We don't know that for certain. It could be number 89. Either way, Iris is in danger right now. The voice asked for something else. He told me to go to a specified location with you. With me? Yes. The culprit knows me? It must be Renju. What location? I'm sorry, but this stops now. Uh oh. Oh. Here's our roadblock. Does he shoot, boss? Run. Boss! Please do not worry. I merely put her to sleep. What are you doing? My orders. They told us to halt our investigation. The boss was already going against orders as it is, which is why... Investigation? What investigation? Shoko or Iris? Neither. The investigation of Monica's murder. Monica? But her case is all but completely solved. Yes, but only to us, right? If we say nothing, then her investigation is ongoing. So Sejima... So threatened us, didn't he? I don't know! But you've been stripped of your authority on this investigation. As of five minutes ago. In fact, you are to be placed under house arrest. What will you do, Date? I suggest you comply. 
Iba, can you turn the power off? Easily. All right, get ready. Three, two, one. Broke his arm. Mm-hmm. Shows you lucky. Shows you lovingly into a locker. <laughs> and then yes, we shoved a nerd into a locker. Where is the location? <laughs> I can't tell you. Why not? If I told you, you'd go alone, wouldn't you? But if I don't go with you. All right, take me there. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no, what? It snuck up on me! You didn't yam fast enough. It snuck up on me! You're, I guess it uh, yammed on right by you. <laughs> I missed it! No! It's the chemical plant that closed eight years ago. I feel bad now. I knew that. How did I know that? The corners of my mind were aching. Dante, I'm sorry, but this is going to be bad. What happened? Someone has begun to access my stored memory. They are attempting to wipe all the data. Everything I have accumulated over the last five years, including backups. Pewter? Is Pewter doing this? Almost definitely. It does have admin rights. I love it. I could watch that forever. It's <laughs> so dumb, but I love it. I'm just picturing the- that would be perfect for the bonk- no. Better than the bonk. It's squeaky ha hammer noise. That's exactly what it's supposed to be. Oh, you- You probably just find a gift for that. I wouldn't be surprised. Alright. Now you know. So get moving. I'm counting on you, Date. Four hours. It's fine. There's be plenty of time. I gripped my revolver and got moving. I'll go in first. You wait here. Okay. Oh, okay. Renju? Yep. So Number 89. Or, I'm pretty sure I know the real name. The case remains unsolved. Yep, this is our roadblock. roadblock we can't do shit man. yet. Woo! Not yet, we can't. Nah, yeah, we can't. We're stopped for now. This is a lot to perceive. You must play through more of the story. And then, which means, where are we going specifically? The oh, green no. one up in the top left corner. Yeah, then? I'm pretty sure. What? Oh yeah, we have to go to the Somnium before it. Yeah, that one. All right, give me just a moment, everyone. So we have to backtrack to green. And so now you understand what we have to do. That's locked off. So we have to finish the green route and that opens up and then we beat the game. All right. So uh, go back in. Notice the colors are like 
whatever. So, who wears who wears a lot of green? Pewter. Yeah. This is his route, I guess. You want me to skip all this? Yes. Because we've seen this a million times already. Mm -hmm. This is from further back in our playthrough. Further back. Okay, next. Return to the CRT TV and spin the dial. A CRT TV. Uh, didn't we do this, but we failed it? So should we, should we just skip it again? No. to believe, but these are the faces of the victims of the original Cyclops killer. What? The Cyclops killer, that's what they were called. I forgot for a minute. We should continue. There are more objects to inspect them. Choke torso. Still called a torso? What would you call it? The room changed. I'm tired of this. We have no choice but to investigate. Strangled the body. Then turn the dial in the corner. I was right. Going to that TV now. An old I'm sure you don't want me to skip these. I'm sure. Hey. Okay. It's been a hot minute. video showed the face of a victim of the original Cyclops killer. It appeared to be the second victim. What is going on? Iris has something to do with the first Cyclops case? Unknown. I do not have enough information. Guess that means we have to investigate more. Indeed. The oil drum, shelf, and another torso have been added. Let's go. What does it want? Push the shelf. What shelf? That's oh, okay. the only one. Only a shelf. That shelf sticking out. It seems odd. Yeah, we did. We did all these. Ooh, bowling ball. Yeah. You do? What'd you pick? Throwing it. Where should I throw it? Throw it that way. Understood. It is unexpectedly light. All right. Uh, yeah! I feel like that ball hit me in the head. 
Now, a TV and an old book have appeared. I hope this is the last time. Do we go look at the book now? No, we're going to the television. Okay. Right, move your foot. Please. Which TV? Like the only one. one. An old. Turn it off so we can watch, I guess. Oh. Is this the last one? Is this the last thing we gotta do? No, we have two more after this. Are you referring to somniums or steps? Uh, steps in this steps. Somnium. Steps in this somnium. There's two more steps. Is if, if you're asking if this is the last somnium we have to do, ah, uh, no. This was the third victim of the original Cyclops killer. Why does Iris know that? There is a possibility that she saw it online or on TV. She even reproduced the circumstances of the killing. Would her imagination explain that? Date, we have no direct evidence. For now, we must continue investigating. Right. Then we go to the worn out reference book. Yeah, hey, that's the one. All the way across the room. Other way. Yep, I see it. It is a thick book. Rip it. This will be easy. It's more brittle than crumbly cheese. Crumbly cheese? <laughs> Give me crumbly oh, cheese. It's it <laughs> melted down like cheese. grilled cheese. Mm, grilled cheese even better. And then open the locker. Just a locker. machine. I don't remember this happening. So this this is definitely a different result than before. Staying on there. It's the Somnium world. Physics don't make sense here. You remember this happening? Because I don't. I don't. That is. And if it did, I don't remember. <laughs> oh my god. What? That's either Renju or Date, but it's probably Renju. Oh, 
did it. Day three Sunday, Gumai. What happened in that Somnium? We saw it too. The four murdered women are without a doubt the victims of the original Cyclops serial killings. That means... The murders that occurred six years ago are these memory fragments that coalesced in this Somnium. No. That means the person who killed them was... You? Didn't I tell you? The entire case is a state secret. No matter how many times you ask, I won't tell you anything. Help me understand this. What I saw during the sink earlier, that was the scene of the original Cyclops serial killings, right? Yeah. So the person doing the killing was the original Cyclops killer? Right. Did you see him? He was... I saw... your face. The original Cyclops killer was... It can't be. That's impossible. Date, you cannot say that for certain. You have no memories past six years ago. So perhaps, Mr. Date, you are the killer. You're missing your left eye. So you steal them from others. I'm kidding. <laughs> you can't be the Cyclops killer. Really? Of course not. Do you think I would hire a serial killer? You interrogated Iris before the sink. What you saw in the Somnium was just a manifestation of the fear you put in her. The Cyclops killer appeared six years ago. I lost my memory six years ago. There has to be some kind of connection. There isn't. It's a coincidence. Really? Really. You can't dream of something you know nothing about. That means Iris must know about the killings. Six years ago, Iris was 12. Did she witness the crime at age 12? And not just one, but all four? Hmm. Boss is a serious look on her face. You! I know what the you did or what you're about to do. Experience the Somnium may expect. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. When using the sync machine for an investigation, we don't always see the memories we expect to see. True, oftentimes a subject will subconsciously want to express their dark secrets and repressed memories. That is why we see them so often in Somnia. And why those Somnia are so useful for criminal investigations. But this is not a guarantee. We cannot control the content of our dreams, after all. Remember what the boss said this morning. The original Cyclops killer has yet to be brought to justice. After the investigation got going, it was taken over by the government and classified. That was the last we heard anything about it. Of course, they paid lip service to the idea that the investigation was ongoing, but in reality, it was dropped completely. I don't believe there's any meaningful connection. Between the original and new Cyclops serial killings, I mean. Why is that? The culprit is not the same. I am absolutely certain the original Cyclops killer could not have committed these crimes. How can you be so sure? Because I can. Don't worry about it. Just trust me. I will not. No, I refuse to. In the Somnium earlier. After all the shit we saw, uh, no. Else who might be the criminal. 
Who was he? I wouldn't know. Uh-huh, bullshit. We could put you back in the locker. It's like <laughs> I told you before. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconsciously. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you don't. You don't. No, I'm not sorry. Equation. Dream D equals memory A plus memory B plus memory C. This, of course, means that Dream D is a fictional event. However, the same cannot necessarily be said about memory A, B, and C. Those happened in reality. In other words, fiction is built from combinations of reality. So what I saw in Somnium earlier... Yes. I believe Iris actually witnessed those events. Are all memories real? Pewter, you said that memories happen in reality, right? But what about false memories? How do we know if the memory really happened? Even false memories are built from the pieces of real ones. If you disassemble those pieces, you will find real events. What about things you see in movies or television? The events might be fictional, but the experience is not. Our imaginations are limited to what we have seen. We cannot invent something whole cloth. I didn't learn anything from speaking with Boss and Peter. If anything, the mystery line grew deeper. Peter shook me from my thoughts. Dante, it looks like Iris is about to wake up. Got it. Head to the sink room. Hey, Iris. About that dream earlier. Dream? What dream? There is no point in asking her, Date. The subject of a sink does not experience Somnium in the way that you do. They will not remember it. Then what about the Cyclops killer? From six years ago. Cyclops killer? I remember hearing it on the news. But I was just a little girl. I don't remember anything specific. You don't? No. What about the scene of the murder? I don't know. I've never been there. But... Mm -hmm. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. You can't dream of something you know nothing about. Date, could you take Iris home? What? Huh? We do not have enough evidence to hold her. Even in Somnium, we couldn't find anything. The law demands that we release her. You cannot decline, Date. Eh? They don't have any rules, uh, uh evidence to... <gasps> Shush! No! They don't have any reason to, uh, keep her because they don't have any evidence to tie her to a crime. Date, could we make a stop first? Sure. Where? Marble. It's a bar in Golden Yokocho. You know about that place? Yeah, Mr. Okiura took me before. Why do you want to go there? There's something I want to talk about. We can't talk here? It might take a while. What do you think? No, no that's what I think. Refuse. Besides, there's a lot I want to ask her, too. Alright, sure. I just nodded and pulled out her phone. She's thinking now message to someone? I was curious, but I didn't want to pry. Turned the wheel and drove the marble. <laughs> that, was more, that wasn't a neom, that was more like a neom. We walked in and didn't see Mama anywhere. Mm -mm. To my surprise, I saw Ota sitting at the counter. Oh, Ota. Well, he's old enough to be here, so... Oh my god, look at him. Oh, she left a little while ago. She said something about going to help an acquaintance? Help. She told me to watch the place until she got back. How well do you know Mama? Not at all. It's my first time here. I wasn't particularly surprised. 
I was always dependent on the kindness of strangers ever since she opened up Marble. I thought I'd run into you here. I was Niling with Tessa earlier. She said she was going to Marble, so... I got here just before you did. Look, I was really worried about her. She was about to be charged with a serious crime. Is your phone broken? No, this is my new one. You're thinking of the one I dropped in that puddle. What was that thing about? This actually works out nicely. I want to ask you something, Ota. It's about a Nile message you sent Iris. You said you wouldn't tell anyone about that thing. That you'd stay quiet no matter what. What were you talking about? Well, uh... I'll tell her about the two widow thing. I swear I'll do it. <laughs> Being a sock puppet. It's fine. Just don't tell anyone else, okay? But before I tell you, who's that? What? At the door. Someone's standing outside. Oh my god. Dante is awful. Oh! Okay. Well, that happened. Little bastard. It's now Monday, Jukai. Oh, we're still at Marble. When I woke up, I was lying on the sofa. Where am I? My head was killing me, my memory is foggy. A sudden pain in my neck. Shut up, rubbing my neck, and when I looked over the counter, I saw a monster staring back at me. It took me a few seconds before I realized it was just Mama. It looks like you're awake now. Don't be mean. It's not spoke to me, it was all came rushing back. I remembered everything. Why didn't you wake me up? I tried. You wouldn't budge. I thought you were passed out drunk, so I left you like that. But I didn't have a glass in front of me, right? So you weren't drunk? Didn't have a single drop. No, I thought you were drinking straight out of the bottle. Did you notice any bottles Just missing? like the old days. <laughs> what time is it? It'll be three o'clock soon. In the morning, of course. Where's Ota? Ota? The boy I asked to watch the bar? I'd say he's too old to be called a boy, but yeah. Yeah, he, he is too old to be called a boy. Back. Do you remember how old he is, all Christine? Saw was you yes. Getting your beauty sleep on the floor. Damn it, Ota. What are you thinking? It appears that he took off with Iris. Doesn't look great for To be this? honest with you. My power was shut down due to the stun gun. I have rebooted in safe mode and am now operational. Thank God he didn't disable System 32. Dante, yeah. the boss is calling. Oh, how am I going to report this one? A small child, well, no, but a small Dante, adult. Listen. Stay calm, but this is an emergency. Just now, the killer... Well, just watch the video. Yeah. I sent the address to Iba. Hmm. Huh. Did this still happen? Iris. You remember this? With the polar bear costume and everything? Oh, yeah. Like, we get this in a different path later, but I guess we get this now in this one. Mm -hmm. No, that's. The criminal is streaming this live. Iba, the source. Identified. The Okiara Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. Why do people like to go in there? Because it's a it's a wall it's a warehouse that no one's allowed into except for two people. We need to get to the site now. I think Violin ran out of marble. Sorry. I'm tired. <laughs> that wasn't in the app. Was me. What's our ETA? Our destination is far from here. 
please let me make it in time. Are you rocking out? It's a bumping. I know it's it is. It's a fucking bumping uh, tension scene. The song. Sick bastard. Yeah, it's this again. I don't know if he's gonna make Iris half the woman she used to be. Boo. Tessa! Then she'll be Ur and S. Is this, is this the green route? Yes, we're on green. Because Oda didn't tase us in marble. Oh, yeah. I think Oda tased us like some, somewhere else. No, we didn't get tased in, uh, by Ota. Ota hit us with a frying pan at, uh, at his diner. Yep. Just with my palms. The engine raised the, the high pitch scream. I could barely hear it. My heartbeat was pounding and my ears shaking the meaning of the tour. How much time had passed? Then the time itself had disappeared. Eventually, the car reached the long bridge. Shortly after, the image changed. No. Oh. And then the bear tries to uh, do it again. No, it can't be. No. Stop. Nice. Yeah, that's how you know we're on a different route. Fun times. It's saying meow, but it's too late now. Yeah. It's too late now. Huh? Huh? What? Oh, got killed instead. Well, Jesus. Uh huh. There you are, finally. I was looking all over for you. It's rare to see you down like this, but it's understandable. You blame yourself for this, don't you? Beating yourself up about taking Iris to marble and about letting Ota get the upper hand on you. Am I right? Shall I tell you what Investigation HQ thinks? Ota Matsushita is a criminal stalker who committed murder-suicide. Ota had a selfish love for Iris. He was under the delusion that Iris loved him too. But Iris refused Ota. So Ota decided that he and Iris should be together in the afterlife, killed her, then killed himself. Great! That's ridiculous. Ota would never kill Iris. And how do you explain the other two murders? 
Iris's left eye was hollowed out. Just like Renju and Shoko. Those three murders were definitely executed by the same person. The new Cyclops killer. There's no way that's Ota. Too many pieces don't fit. Too many contradictions, like killing Iris. Such as? Uh, yeah, we better call this one an episode for for now. So next time on the Super Bonus Round, we are going to go question what in the fuck just happened? So thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. We're getting closer and closer to the truth, but uh, damn it, it's an ugly sight. Good. Goodbye, everybody.